Hey, Jeremiah here. I'm at Flow Toys and we've been working on the modes a bunch lately. We've got this awesome new update that's out. I wanted to share a couple of features that were really exciting and I think you're gonna love. I'm gonna use fire to demonstrate this because it's really easy to see where the pattern is originating from, right? The flame in the staff at least comes from the cap. In the club, it also comes from the cap, from the top. But we, we're debating, we were trying to figure out where we wanted the flame to originate because it also looks really beautiful coming from the center. And so after a great deal of deliberation, we decided to give you all of the options. This is known as a mapping adjust. So basically when you enter adjust, it'll start cycling the hue, nice and slow, like you're used to. And after a certain point, the point of origin of the pattern will shift. So it'll switch from the cap to the center. But that's not all. It will also shift to emerging from the center as a mirrored pattern. And then it will split again, mirrored from the ends and the center. And it'll split again into quadrants. So it's splitting from here and mirrored again from here. And uh, there's so many different patterns that we were able to do this with. It's a really exciting upgrade to a lot of the different modes. So at this point, I'm gonna spin and show you. You just gotta be patient. You gotta wait for it to change and uh, stand by. All right, we had the shift happen. So now you can see the flame is emerging from the middle. It gives it quite a different look. And so it feathers the edges as opposed to feathers the inside. Uh, fire is a good one for demonstrating this for a, a few of them. They start to get a little more abstract the further we go in. Um, and so to really demonstrate this feature, I want to shift gears over to Fireball on page three, mode five. This one has the same feature. And when we enter, so as you can see here, we've got uh, a bunch of those little Fireball things. And this is technically a quadrant mapped mode. So it's mirroring in several different places to create the effect that you're seeing. So we enter adjust, we'll start to adjust that mapping and you'll see really what this adjust is capable of using Fireball to demonstrate. All right, so we just had our first shift. And as you can see, the, the pattern looks pretty dramatically different. So this is a feature that we've added to almost a half dozen modes. Uh, it's in fire, it's in earth, it's in uh, rainbow strobe, which is also known as fish mode. We moved it from water. It's now rainbow strobe, page two, mode 10. And uh, we've also got it on fireball and on jamming. I think that's five. So it's worth exploring on all of those. Otherwise we wouldn't have even included it. Just have to be patient. Let's wait for the next one. All right, so it shifted again. That was a little bit smaller shift because it just switched sides. Right now the point of origin of the pattern is from the center, whereas uh, it was previously coming from the ends. One thing that's really great about the system that we've got here with Flow Toys is that once you find something you like, you can always select it, stopping it there, and then save it to your favorite so you can quickly re-access it in page four. All right, so we've got another shift. It's mirrored just once coming from the center, yep. And uh, this gives you basically the same pattern that we started with, but a zoomed in version of it so that you're only seeing uh, half as many of those big fire bubbles that are always sort of shifting. So that's a little demonstration of the mapping adjust that we've got in a lot of the new modes. Uh, remember that you can find them by entering adjust and spinning and waiting for a little while. Uh, a mirror is helpful if you want to find some of them, but uh, then just select it, save it to page four, and you can access it anytime. Thanks for tuning in. Enjoy and find your flow.